Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Commissioners. It is with great pleasure this evening that I introduce to you Ms. Rachel Grasher. She is our new Director of Community Development. Um, she has already taken a load out of each of our wagons, maybe two out of mine. She's got five big projects on her desk that we were only able to get to a point, and the reason that we discussed needing this position was to be able to take those things over the finish line, and she is well on her way, so welcome, Rachel. Um, she's been here, this is her second week, uh, but we feel like that she's been here for a year or two, and that's how any good new team member should fit in, so things are, are going well from our end. I hope they are from your end. Thank you very much. And again, welcome. Uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing. What I have seen so far is, is as you said, I mean, you're, you're just saying, uh, don't worry about the mule, let's load the wagon. And then we'll get, and you're doing that. And so we certainly appreciate that. And, and you'll find that the entire staff of the county, the team that you now are a part of, uh, to me, they're second to none. They're as good as it could get. And so you'll have a lasting relationship with them and find that the cohesiveness, that they all work together, everybody's pulling in the same direction. And that really means a lot. Welcome. Thank you for choosing Lounge County. Happy to be here. Your family. That's right. That is right. Um, so moving on, we have updates tomorrow. Um, one I will present at Rotary about just a general update as far as what's going on in the county. And then on Thursday, the chairman and I will present to the Home Builders Association. On Thursday, um, Ms. Barwick and some of the other department heads will be hosting the Centilla 6th and 7th grade. So we're always, already, always excited to see them come in. Um, this week in utilities, Steve and his crew are uh, being trained on the new monitoring process for our sewer lift stations. Um, you all are familiar with the SCADA system. It is the, um, the monitoring and the alarms if we should have a failure at a lift station. And so they're training on that today. And Megan will have something out to citizens so they can see where we are in that project with ABM. On April the 8th at 10 a.m., we will cut the ribbon uh, on the drafting pit at Station 10. This is something that Mr. McLeod, Chief Green, have been working on for quite some time. It's a boss project that we're glad to bring to the community. Um, and then on Friday at 8.30, if any of you are available um, in recognition and celebration of Ag Awareness this week, we're having breakfast downtown at the Urban Honeybee. Um, and the last thing that I have for you is a weather update because whenever the weather forecast is supposed to be bad, and uh, Mr. Ty updates you all. It seems to go in a different direction. So in keeping with that good juju, um, Ashley's going to give you an update on what the National Weather Service has forecast. Yeah, I think I think I did this last last week as well. So getting, getting to be kind of a habit. Um, but we did um, receive a briefing from the National Weather Service uh, this afternoon, and um, we are expecting another round of severe weather. So you may have seen this morning overnight in uh, Texas. So that same system is moving over here. That's not to say that our weather's going to be as bad as it was there. It will not. Uh, it's always frustrating talking with the weather service. They're always very non-committal. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. One thing they did say, in addition to the briefing, I had a private conversation to get a little more detailed information. And so this particular storm system is not shaping up to be quite as strong as um, once it gets over here is what we've seen in the past couple weeks, you know, about two or three over the last week and a half or so. So, um, especially like even the one we had this past weekend, it should not be that strong. But um, our message to our staff, to our citizens, all our partners is to um, all we always plan for the worst and hope for the best. So, um, we're doing the um, same thing. We're kind of in that storm season, so this is going to be a regular occurrence. So we're in April shower season. Um, so we're at, you know, we are anticipating the possibility of some more strong storms. Um, and we, I think we've got everything in place. The, you know, the two biggest um, threats are going to be when those thunderstorms come through. The winds are going to get up. Um, we'll probably, you'll probably, when you get up in the morning, see some, you know, 25 to 35 mile hour gusts. Like it's going to be breezy out ahead of that. see some thunderstorms which could um, you know, bring down trees, power lines, have some power outages, so making sure that um, you know, we've got everything in place that we're able to deal with that. And then um, rain, you know, we went for a while with no rain, and it was dry. And now it's about to get rain all the time, so probably another couple inches of rain tomorrow to uh, keep things soaked down and uh, keep some of that pollen down, hopefully. Uh, and so we're going to just keep, uh, keep a close eye on it see um, you know, how things develop in the morning, but if y'all got any specific questions, I'd be glad to 
what Mr. Mr. Chairman, we did lose a generator at one of our lift stations and had some other technology components that were damaged with this last storm. So we're hoping that the, the lightning stays out. But we're looking at a generator rental now for a month that's going to exceed the cost of the repair. We'll get that turned into our to our insurance. Hopefully, we'll we'll be made whole there. But that lightning's no joke. Okay. All right. Again, a, another full. Uh, county management board. It just keeps growing and growing and growing, and so we're very, very much appreciative of it. Other than, uh, as I, I've always said, you know, sometimes you have to just check to make sure the mule is in good shape. That's right. So it can't pull. So. Right. All right, we've got one citizen wishing to.